We'll keep the ball rolling so we can maximise the talk time at the end. Our third presentation comes from Brazil. It's um, Antonio Lisboa. Where are you, Antonio? You there? Um, Antonio is a park manager in the Brazilian Amazon, which sounds like a pretty sort of sexy place to be a park manager. That's a, a fabulous thing. Um, uh, he um, focuses on the Virua, is it? Or Virua National Park, um, where he's um, had a particular focus on promoting uh, research and monitoring. So thank you, Antonio, for joining us. It's fabulous to have you here. Okay. Thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Antonio. I'm from Brazil. I'm a geographer. And it's a big pleasure to be here presenting a little about our experience on supporting research in Virua National Park. Uh, supporting research as a tool for conservation based on mainly on part, uh, involving partnerships and cooperating partnerships and involving local communities. Okay? Virua is a, is, a park index, is a national park in the extreme north part of Brazil, uh, in the Brazilian Amazon. Okay? Uh, considering the huge challenges involved in the management of Brazilian Amazon protected areas, and in a context of lack of human and financial resources, large areas needing protection, and increasing pressure of human activities Efforts on supporting research on protected areas are often seen, often seen as secondary, distracting, or even superfluous, superfluous, or dispensable. That's the prevailing sense, the common sense we have in Brazil, uh, considering this, the situation of, of budget, of little budget, little personal, and everything. But our approach was uh, against this prevailing sense. Okay. Um, located on a region of a very specific Amazonian ecosystem called Campina Ranas, the last studied of all the Brazilian ecosystems, Virua National Park was completely unknown until uh, unstudied, unknown in the sense of unstudied was completely unstudied until 2006, when we started to create the conditions to support research in the park. Our goal was to develop a database that could be used as a reference guide for other protected areas in the Brazilian Amazon, considering this lack of, this absolute, absolute lack of information on this ecosystem. Uh, in order to do so, we adopted three main strategies. The first one was to develop high-level standards on supporting research. For that purpose, we, so we, defined work, we defined work patterns for all the logistic process, training uh, local people and permanent staff on basic and specialized tasks, such as uh, motor board, uh, the motor board? Uh, maintenance, uh, field support, anything. Uh, training local people and permanent staff on basic and specialized tasks and providing research facilities such as uh, shelters and mm, restrooms and anything. And mainly, uh, in a developed, we installed uh, an 80 kilometers trail system considering uh, of research, a uh, very, very well done one, uh, considering it, it was a very interesting thing because we, uh, before that we just had uh, a, a one and a half kilometer trail, uh, uh, only one, a unique trail in the park, and now we had a, an 80 kilometer trail system. That allowed us to work on the second, on second strategy. Uh, there was incorporating stakeholders in the research goals. So in 2006, we, do, we consolidated, uh, to this goal, we consolidated a, a long-term research site concentrating a lot of, of field researches and research fields and a lot of 
uh, dozens of researchers in the same area is studying everything you can imagine. Uh, enhancing partnerships with more than 20 universities. We, we, we now have something like two, 22 universities, Brazilian universities working in the park. And supporting different interinstitutional projects, including two big, two big ones uh, that involve uh, dozens of researchers. One is called PPBio. Uh, that works with all the filler, filler, filler. How can I say that? Mm. The groups, all the, the groups, all animal and plant groups, including uh, physical studies, and and, the, and there was a, a second one. I don't know the name in English. P N P N D B A. That is uh, the, the most uh, important project uh, that involves uh, six. Post-graded, post-graduated courses in, in, in Amazon, uh, involving dozens of botanic researchers. So, in 2006, we don't have, we, we didn't have any research in the park. In one year, the first year we we we, we use this, this we adopt this strategy, we have already a hundred a hundred research. And then, in t last year, we achieved more than 400 researchers. Now, we are more than 500 researchers working in the park. That made, that turned Virua one of the most researched uh, of all the Amazonian, Brazilian Amazon national parks. We have 18 national parks in the Brazilian Amazon region. And Virua became, now, turned now, uh, the most researched one in terms of research license or authorizations. And finally, the last strategy was involving local communities as a priority, not as a secondary uh, object or, or detail, but a very important thing. It was, that's what, that's, that's what just, justifies this presentation. Uh, for that, we adopt three, um, Three strategies, sub strategies, incorporating local knowledge, training local people, contracting local people, uh, support staff as a mandatory, as obligatory condition. Okay, the researchers always uh, must to contract local people to work with them. The results of these strategies were that um, we achieved a large and high quality scientific database and management planning. The recognition of Virua as the actual most mega diverse Brazilian national park, we never, never, never expected. Because when we started to, to, to work, to study this completely unknown ecosystem called the Campinorana, we expected a little biodiversity, few biodiversity in relation considering the mega diverse of Amazon. But we have a, a very uh, impressive surprise on achieving these numbers. Now, Virua is considered the most mega diverse park in Brazil of the 63 existing, uh, including 530 bird species, 504 fish species. Uh, we never heard about any other protected areas in the world that had 500 fish species. And the total, totalizing, more than 1,250 vertebrates at large. So this itself, this result itself, just, just uh, would justify all our investment. But we had some. Here's a uh, graphic uh, showing the most mega diverse protected areas in in Brazil. So Virua, in little few years became now the most mega diverse recognized as the most mega the most mega diverse park in the in the Brazil. It's an interesting thing that we even use this concept of mega diverse. Mega diverse was a completely unknown term in Brazil. Now we we, we use it and Virua I think it was very important to, to try this to bring this concept to Brazil reality. But Although, the, although no, um, further this, furthermore, this, this, uh, these benefits, we have some uh, 
others. Uh, enhancing protection by increased vigilance for illegal activities. I don't know that if you can comprehend that, but about human presence, with human presence in the park, on researchers and support staff, people, and so we have we have some protection. Increasing attractiveness to ecotourism, of course, by showcasing its normal biodiversity. With these numbers, uh, you have a lot of groups interested now. And we call we, we work in, with a concept in Virua that is uh, scientific tourism. I don't know in many countries I think there is a, a lot of resistance to use it, prejudice with this concept. But for us, it's very important. Uh, tourism, ecotourism is also related to biodiversity. And finally, engaging local people with conservation goals by increasing jobs and income generation and providing education to local communities. It's a very interesting graphic that shows the income generation that we have by just by contract. This is only by contracting uh, personnel to support research and another thanks i'm sorry for it this is in portuguese so to conclude our approach goes against the prevailing view that research is a luxury our experience is that investing investing on research has a multiple multitude of tangible benefits integrating people resources and innovative ideas the viewer experience proves that employing efforts on supporting research much more than a secondary problem, sometimes can be an astounding solution. That's our experience. Okay, thank you.